Hello and welcome back to Train Sim World Rapid Transit for the second part of my first impressions video. For this one, we're going to actually take one of the scenarios. So last time out, we uh, went ahead and just just began to have a look at the actual train. We went through the tutorial for the train. Let's see what I remember on that tutorial for the train. And then we did a bit of a walk around down the track just to see what the graphics were like, what the buildings were like, and managed to potter into the city somehow, um, ending up actually right the way down over here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to start by... Uh I think this one looks pretty good. Uh, Leipziger. Leipzig? Leipziger? I don't know, I don't know, uh, but I think that one looks pretty good, or we could, uh, let's have a look, how far does that go? Now see, that doesn't go as far as I want it to go, that one goes a lot further up, so what we can do is we can do that in this video, and then in the next video hopefully we can do a run that takes us through another section, potentially. Yeah, we might end up missing out on one of these sections, but we'll do we'll do one that we can have a look right down and around the whole track. So let's start over here. So we're going to just press start on that. And that's the actual train that we have, the Talent 2, which is a Bombardier train. So oh that was a very quick load. That load that loaded far quicker than I thought it would. That's actually really interesting that it loaded that quickly. Okay. Here we go. Starting from platform three, you'll be running an all station service to the southern terminus. So we're going to get to the train, and uh, just give me a moment because my uh, my computer's making a weird noise. There we go. A couple of knocks sorted it out. Right. So we're going to assume I'm going to walk down here. This tr this station looks a lot more fancy, a lot more fancy. Look at that. It's got a lift. So we're going to have to, we can't have a look at the whole station immediately. Ah, that's not right. That should be a corner, I believe. Anyway, up we go. Very nice, very nice station in general, though. And there's our train. So let's have a look at how long our train is today. It looks like we're hauling a double-sized train. Yes, it looks like we've got six carriages, as it were, including the power cars. So we're going to hop on board. Uh, come on, get on board, get on board, there we go. Uh, hi, why are you looking at me? Right, okay, so there's our train, there's a bunch of people there. It looks like our train's already on. Uh, unlock the doors on the right-hand side. So I'm going to leave this on for now, just so that we can, we have an idea of where everything is. So that's the doors. Fantastic. So that's going to load passengers. Again, just to run you through where everything is, that's our handbrake or our parking brake. That's a function for one of the MFDs. That's our reverser. Uh, that's our pantograph controls. That's the circuit breaker for the pantograph. That looks like cruise control to me. Uh, I haven't actually seen that. That's our independent brake. That's our uh, combined power brake handle. That's our lights. And then we don't know what some of the other stuff are. We haven't really looked at that. That's some sort of fire button. We've got the buttons back here that work as well. That's our battery power and stuff like that. So we've got that to have a look at. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I am going to... Oh, look, we can even open that up. I don't know what that does. So I haven't really looked at what everything does. And then that's two of our horns, which is nice because it's... It's actually showing that horn treble and that horn with a clef on it. So I'm assuming that's a two-tone horn. So that's to lock the doors. Okay. Oh, no, that's to lock the doors right there. Uh, we're going to... Do we have our lights on? We have some sort of lighting. I'm actually going to do that. That's better. What's this? That's reverse. That's dim lights. Uh, so actually, I'm going to go for some dim lights that's fine no that was wrong close those doors okay interesting right and then we're just going to drive away so I'll put the reverse into forward uh, make sure those doors have closed no they haven't closed why have they not closed close close you stupid doors Wow, 
Wait, no, they opened. All the doors opened. It's... Hold on. Ah, there we go. That door. Why did that door not close? Well, something's gone incredibly wrong already. Uh, we're just going to get straight underway. We don't have our pantograph up, do we? No, we do have it up. Is it up all the way? It is. Why are we not moving? We've got no power. We really have no power. Yeah, we certainly have no power. Why do we have no power? What's gone on here? So it hasn't told us everything that we're supposed to do. Clearly in the tutorial it didn't tell us everything. That's in one. Let's just double check to make sure the pantograph is up. It's certainly up. I'm going to break that now. There we go. And now we've got power. What happened? It's like we had to take the pantograph down again, right? So is it... Space and in presses those two. That's fine. What does it sound like from outside? A little bit silly, I have to admit. So three miles to our first stop. Our speed limit is 40 miles per hour. There's loads of power. There's 10 power notches here. That's fine. The acceleration on this is brilliant. It's almost like a. It's almost like one of those um, London Underground trains. Wow, that's 30. I didn't see that. Right. Uh, let's bring up the other options that we normally have. Ooh, there's our frames. You can see that I'm getting a very good frame rate here. I should have locked that to 60 frames a second. There's our train as, as we potter along. It looks like the speed limit... Mark is gone. Now have a look at that. I don't know what the speed limit is here. Okay, so... We've mm. I haven't got a clue what the speed limit is. I think it's 40. So I'm going to do 40. What I want to try and find is not that. Uh, is it shift in F4? Shift in 4. Shift in 3? No, no, no. What is the key that I'm looking for? Shift and five. Yeah, I don't know what the speed limit is here at all. Hmm. And now the signals have gone. Great. So I don't know what the next signal is going to be. It was green, so I'm just going to keep going. So I'm recording this on a Friday, so you're going to see this on what, um, a Tuesday perhaps? So I'm recording this on Friday, there goes, there comes the next distance signal marker. I don't know what the... Ah, there we go, that's what it is, control and three, control and two, no, control and six, there, that's the one, uh, not that one, control and... Nope, uh, I know which one I'm after, but I can't find it now. Not that. Okay, it's obviously not going to show me it. Stop at location in 1.5 miles. There we go, that's pretty good. That works for me a little bit better. I want the speed limit. Obviously, okay, I think what it is, is it's the speed limit's broken, because if you look there... That's clearly broken. That would be a fancy screenshot, wouldn't it? There we go. We've got a screenshot as well. Perfect. Alright, we'll bring that back up. Yeah, I think the speed limit is broken. And as a matter of fact, I don't seem to have any power anymore. Yay! What has gone on here? Let's break that circuit and bring that back on. There we go, now I've got power again. Okay, I'm not sure where this is. So are there bugs going on or I don't know. 
I, I, gen I genuinely haven't got a clue what's going on here. So over here is our display. This tells us the speed that we're aiming for. So it's pretty hard to get to the speed that we want. I Like I said, I don't know what, what exactly the speed is here. But it tells us, there you go, in kilometers an hour. So perhaps the speed is f 70 kilometers an hour? I'm assuming that would be the speed because it works in... It works in that. That's our power handle, how much percentage we're putting through. Put that into zero. There we go. Okay, so that's the amount of power we're putting through. DB Schenker is obviously the, the company that runs it. Uh, that's the power through the pantographs, I believe. 1,900 kilowatt hours is the power that we is the actual power we're using. We've got a 3 to 1 marker here. For what though? Is that for the traffic signal? No, I don't know. You're stuck in traffic. We're not stopping here. So we'll just go through that. Oh no, we are stopping here. Well, that was a mistake. I was not looking at that. I was looking at something completely different. Alright, well, let's back it up. Objective complete. I don't think the objective is complete here. I want to back it up. I want to back it up. Uh, why is this doing this? Come on, I want to back this up. There we go. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. Keep backing up. That will do me quite nicely. Put that into neutral. I don't hear a AWS of any sort. Uh, put that... Hang on a minute. Oh, there we go. This, this time it worked. Alright, uh, well, let's reverse into the station now. I'm terribly sorry about this. I was really confused there for a moment. There we go. Now we can just stop here. Okay, right. We're definitely going to be late here, so we can unlock these doors. We'll put that into forward now. We'll leave the brakes on. Now, pressing Q, I know that there's a button somewhere being pressed. I can hear it. I can't see it being pressed. What's this? That must be cruise control. That really must be cruise control. Now we're seeing that our speed limit is 100 miles an hour. Um, which is interesting. Lock the doors. Objective complete. We'll get ourselves ready to go. I'm going to try this cruise control, actually. Right. What happens if I press that? Yes, yes, cruise control works. Okay, so the idea here on cruise control I'm going to assume that we can get to 70, there we go. But right, yes, yes, this is working. This is working for us. Oops, not that. That's not what I meant to press. Oh, that's... There we go. Okay, I think I'm understanding how to do this. So, we can use the power handle to get it up to a certain speed. Like so. And then we can bring that up. So, let's say that's now... No, that's too fast. There you go, that's now 70. So, now it's not going to use any more power than it is. That's good. Okay, so the cruise control works. Very confused about it. But uh, it does work. It does work. I think. So now we've just got to go, what, 2.4 miles over to Rakwitz? Rakwitz? Something? I don't know. Hi. Bye. Okay. Okay. This is, this is good. What's all this? Speakers. 
don't know what that does, don't know what that does. None of this was shown. That's cab lighting, right? I think that's cab. Yep, that's cab lighting. That's those. Okay. That looks like heating controls that don't work. That looks better. I don't need. I don't need a light on in here. Although I suppose the light gives it some sort of warmth, which is nice. Where is the light? There it is. Okay. This button doesn't work. This button doesn't work. Cruise control is. Yep, that's just doing the trick now. So we're just pottering along at 70 kilometers an hour. Again, I don't know what the speed limit is here. Uh, am I stopping here? I don't think so. It's 3, 2, 1, but I don't think that's for stop. I think the 3, 2, 1 might be for every signal that comes along. I think. And again, I don't know the speed limit. I haven't got a clue what the speed limit is. So if the speed limits are broken... Alrighty, I don't know what that button is, I don't know what that... That's a signal, isn't it? Is that to control signals? Ignore the signal, pause signal... That must be AWS then. It doesn't do anything. So right, if I were to put the power down now, to 1, it would still manage to hold it fairly nicely, right? Yes. But if I were to put the power down into neutral, it wouldn't. 2.4 miles. Here we go. That now our speed limits go up. 99 miles an hour. Next speed limit in 2.4 miles. 99 miles an hour. I mean, I'm just going to follow it. If that's what it says, that's what it says. I doubt it actually is 99 miles an hour. But uh, there we go. I'm, I'm very confused as to what we're doing here. Very, very confused. Yeah, it's uh, it's not managing to hold or maintain that cruise control. So the cruise control switches off as soon as as soon as we put it into drive or take it out of power. The cruise control switches off. Okay, that makes sense. Um, slowing this train down should be a piece of cake in theory. So I'm going to give it a bit of time before I slow it down. Can I see the station? I'm actually thinking um, as soon as we pass the signal I'm going to put the brakes on. So I'm actually going to take it out of power now and start applying brakes from here. In step three. There we go. That's actually, that's that's worked pretty well. So from 40 miles an hour that's worked actually pretty well. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. 20. Oh, no, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, step 5 maybe is better for us. I'll ease the brakes off a little bit. Can I get rid of that again? I don't know how to get rid of that. There we go. I think that's okay. And then we'll open those doors. So I've forgotten how to get rid of that um, bottom, the stuff that comes on the tracks. It's one of it's one of the buttons that I was pressing, trying to get the speed limits up. But okay, we're 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 doing kind of all right after our initial mishap. Again, we are just in the middle of town, so it's very quiet out here. And again, the sounds are quiet on the train, so. That's something to bear in mind. Right, we'll lock the doors now. Wait for them to close. I think that's closed. That sounds terrible. And then back up now. If I were to hit that and go... Yep, yeah, that seems to be working. There we go. Yeah, so I'm not actually accelerating at this point. It's doing it itself. Now, it says 99 miles an hour per head. I don't think this train can go faster than 80. Just, just going to point that out. Because there seems to be some sort of marking here that it can't go faster than 80. But I am going to, you know, crank up the power and just see what happens. 
because I have genuinely no idea what's going on. I know here, yeah, maximum speed, 160 kilometers an hour, which would be what, um, 75? Just over 75 miles an hour, I think. No, no, it wouldn't, no, it wouldn't, no, it wouldn't. 150 kilometers an hour is 90 miles per hour, isn't it? So we're looking at 95 miles an hour. Okay, it can get to 90, it can get to the speed that it's saying. But I, I don't think this is correct. I think the speed limits are very broken right now. And by very broken, I mean very, very broken. It looks good, though, outside. Look, let's have a quick look outside. There you go. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. It's a bit foggy today, so you can't see it too well, but it does look fairly good. Uh, what's the other views we have? We have three. We have... We have our standard that view. This is a very nice, very nice train. Yes, it's all right. It's all right. Um, oh, oh, out, out, get out of that. Okay. And here comes that limit. Right. Okay. Now, if it's a change in speed limit, surely there should be a sign saying what the change in speed limit is. 16. What does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Right, uh, I am going to increase that now. 75 mile an hour limit. Okay, maybe the speed limits are working now. So we are just going to now increase speed. What's that? What does that do? Ooh, I like that. I like that. That's nice. Right, so now we're just increasing speed as you would expect. To We're currently at 68 miles an hour. Let's give it a little bit more. And then we'll reduce the power on the power handle. 70 miles an hour. I can't see any speed limit signs. 73, what does that mean? And at this point in time, I'm actually going to start braking as well. It's very gently as we go through this tunnel. Yep, I'm definitely going to start braking now. The brakes on this train aren't amazing. But they do the trick. They certainly do the trick. 500 yards still going quite a rate of knots step 4 of braking seems to be okay looks like the limit is 75 miles an hour so that's what the limit was before I'll keep slowing this train down between step 3 and step 4 of braking right I want to get rid of that how do I get rid of that how do, how do I get rid of that uh, is it control in 5 no nope. control no nope. there control in 7 okay Although pressing control and 7 is probably going to show me where it needs to be, but I'm going to try and stop the train over here. And we'll open up this one. This has all gone wrong really quickly. Really has gone wrong very, very quickly. How do I get rid of those markings now? There we go. Done. Right, that's gone. There's another train over there. That train's going. There seems to be a, a sense of... Everything's a bit too quiet over here. But maybe that's because of the fog. I mean, it, do, it does have a sense of it being quite realistic with the fog and everything. 